Hello, my name is Mitchell Pearson, and I am the training content manager here at Pragmatic Works. Today, I'm going to introduce to you our Azure Data Factory course. We're very excited about this course, and I'm going to tell you five reasons why you should also be excited about our Azure Data Factory course. This class is designed for anybody who comes from really an ETL background, and maybe you used to work with SSIS or some other proprietary tool that did ETL. But now, as your company and as the rest of the world is now migrating to working with different cloud offerings like Microsoft Azure, you want to get more familiar with being able to move that data in the most efficient way possible using the cloud. And so the opportunity or the tool that we have to do that is Azure Data Factory. And if that's something that you're interested in, then this class is for you. Because this is an introduction into Azure Data Factory, there's really no skills needed when you come into this class. Having a little bit of a background with basic ETL, extract, transform, and load processes will definitely help and assist you as you go through this course. But if you don't have that background, that's okay as well because we're going to walk you through from an end-to-end -end example how to build those different Azure resources that you need and then how to provision Azure Data Factory and use that to build dynamic pipelines. It's important to learn about Azure Data Factory because the world is changing. The way that we store data is changing. More and more companies are now storing their data in the cloud. And as the data moves to the cloud, the best way to really interact with that data and move it between these different resources that we have is going to be a tool like Azure Data Factory. And so as the world of data changes and as the world of data evolves, we can evolve with that by learning Azure Data Factory. This course offers you the ability to learn Azure Data Factory from end to end, the full solution of Azure Data Factory. We live in the age of technology and information, and if you wanted to find out about Azure Data Factory, then you would probably start checking a lot of different various sources for that, and unfortunately, you get a lot of piecemeal information that's difficult to tie together in a coherent fashion. But when you have a course like the ones we offer here at Pragmatic Works, you get a full end-to-end -end example. So you understand from the very beginning, why do I want Azure Data Factory? How do I provision and set up Azure Data Factory? And then how do I build the pipelines necessary to move the data from the source to the destination? And learning all of that in one fell swoop, end-to-end -end solution is obviously much more beneficial than having to dig and search all over the internet for different pieces of information. First of all, when you're done with this course, you're going to feel comfortable and familiar building pipelines in Azure Data Factory, working with different resources in Azure and using Azure Data Factory to move the data around. However, there's something else that you'll learn from this course as well, and that is how to use SSIS to interact and work with those different Azure resources. And so that's something we haven't talked about yet. Even though this is an introduction to Azure Data Factory course, we do show you in this class how to use SSIS to interact with those resources as well. And so if you come from an SSIS background and you're more familiar with SSIS and more comfortable with SSIS, then we're going to show you how to download the Azure Feature Pack and then how to use that to move data around in Azure as well. And then we show you how to either deploy those packages on-prem, which you're probably already familiar with, but we also talk about SSIS Lift and Shift. And SSIS Lift and Shift allows you to really get the best of both worlds. You can use SSIS to interact with those different Azure resources. In other words, you can use SSIS to upload data to an Azure Blob account, to load data to an Azure SQL database. But then you can take those SSIS packages that you have developed and you can lift them up and allow them to run under Azure resources. So you can actually walk away from this class working with and moving data between different Azure resources that you have without using Azure Data Factory. All right, I hope that this video helped you to truly understand what you should expect to get from this course. I thank you for watching this video, and I hope that you enjoy this course as much as we enjoyed creating it. Thank you and have a good day.